we're going to find the derivative using the limit process. The limit process is a limit as change of x approaches zero. Delta x is always on bottom. The top is going to be f of x plus change of x. So that means 3 times x plus change of x plus 2. Do you see how I put x plus change of x in for x? Minus f of x, which is just 3x plus 2. Now, this probably makes no sense until you get some practice with it. This is change of y over change of x. This is f of x plus change of x. This is f of x. f of x? This is f of x plus change of x. Basically, every time I see an x, I put x plus change of x into it. And now I find the limit. Really weird, but watch what happens. It's kind of, kind of, actually kind of cool. Kind of weird, weird, but it, it kind of works out. So, basically, watch what happens. Keep the word limit in front. Distribute the three. And then distribute the negative one. So I distributed the negative one and I distributed the three here. So the top's done. Rewrite the word limit. I know it's annoying. Do you see how these are going to cancel right here? And so are these leaving you 3 change of x over change of x. Do you see a removable discontinuity idea? Don't those cancel, leaving you 3? Is the slope always 3 here? The whole equation is 3. Just found it. So for this equation, the slope is always 3. It's kind of like a proof. You, you, you'll see it in, in, in a second. This one's a little, quite a bit different. This is an easy one. I just showed you one just to kind of get used to it. Number 18, same idea. The limit as change of x approaches 0. And you're going to do 1 minus, and in here goes x plus change of x squared. Minus f of x over delta x. Same exact same thing as last time. We plugged in for x, x plus change of x, and here we just kept the original function. This is a very long process. Next section, you learn something very, very quick. This is where it comes from, though. Anywho. If you take the time to do this, you end up with 1. And then if we square this, this is kind of annoying. But you end up with x squared plus 2x change of x plus change of x squared. And then minus 1 minus, oops, 1 minus x squared over delta x. When you do a squared, it's a foiling process, and I just did it in my head. Sorry. So let's simplify this down. 1 minus x squared. We basically just change all my signs. I basically just changed all my signs because of all the negatives. And you see a lot of stuff canceling. A lot of stuff will always cancel. 
La 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 la. <laughs> gone, gone. Okay. Lots of stuff disappeared. I now have the limit as change of x approaches zero. Delta x. Do I want to get rid of that delta x? Well, is what's left over? Don't these both have a delta x? I'm going to pull out a delta x, leaving me negative 2x. And here, doesn't that leave me with negative change of x? Again, out of these two values on top that were left over, I pulled the delta x GCF out. Do you see this canceling? Don't we want that removable discontinuity so we can actually plug in zero for delta x? Now, when I plug in zero for delta x, doesn't that give me negative two times zero minus, nope, no, sorry, two times x, I messed that up. Isn't that two x minus zero? When I plug in zero for delta x, doesn't that get negative two x minus zero? My answer is negative 2x. It's kind of weird, but negative 2x is the equation, the derivative of this function. Meaning, if I plug in 5 to this equation, what do I get? <coughs> negative 10, which means for this graph, if you put the graph and you put the dot at negative at 5, your slope would be negative 10. At 2, what do you get? Negative 4. So for this graph, at 2, the slope would be negative 4. This equation gives you the slope at any point on this graph. Long process. You're going to get to learn a lot easier process soon. But for now, that's what we got. Now, let's talk about these three sketches. This graph, the slope equation for this graph, now, do you understand for this graph, my slopes are always positive? Well, isn't my slope actually always 1? So if we go up here to 1, your derivative function, that's y prime. Remember the prime number? That means the derivative. The derivative is always 1. The slope is always 1 for this graph. Correct? The slope is always 1, so my graph and my derivative is always 1. This one, my slope from here to here, isn't it negative? From here to here, my slopes are positive. Now, as I go this way, don't my slopes get steeper and steeper and steeper, bigger and bigger and bigger? And from here, aren't they getting smaller and smaller as I go this way? And these are all negative, these are all positive. It's kind of weird. But your slope is going to look something like that. That's y prime. Meaning, are my slopes here all negative? Yeah. And are my slopes getting bigger and bigger the farther I go down? Are my slopes for this blue line getting bigger and bigger the farther to the right I'm going? Are my slopes getting bigger and bigger here? Are my blue values positive? Are my slopes positive? Kind of weird. Take some time to get used to. This one. Aren't my slopes always positive? But aren't my slopes steep, 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 less steep, less steep, less steep, zero? Less steep, less steeper, 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 steeper. It, it kind of gets some practice. It's kind of weird getting used to it. But basically, you end up with this graph. Meaning, look at this slope. Look at these values. Are these values always positive? Are they all? Are all these values outputs of this blue line positive? Yeah. Are all these slopes positive? Yeah. Is the slope? Sorry, is the value here zero of the blue line? Yeah. Is the slope of this green line zero? Are my slopes getting bigger and bigger and bigger? Are the are the values of here getting bigger and bigger and bigger? These are graphs of the derivative. The derivative of this is actually 1. Slope is 1. The derivative of this, you'll learn, is 2x. 
you'll learn this with practice, y prime is actually 2x. Here, y prime is actually 3x squared. Okay, you will learn over time about that stuff.